but we begin in the hardest hit area so far. We're getting the most severe reports out of two places, Bertie, North Carolina, and these are pictures now out of Gloucester, Virginia, specifically Page Middle School. There are, those are school buses that you're looking at on their side crushed. We're told that there is a lot of damage to Page Middle School and we're going to start this coverage off tonight with photojournalist Joel Hilton who is bringing back the first pictures now from Page Middle School and learning more about what's happened in Gloucester. Joel, good evening. Hey, good evening guys. Uh, I've been out here for about an hour now, I guess. Uh, halfway through, got a little closer, just kind of give me a, a, a closer view of what uh, the destruction that this these storms that came through earlier this evening uh, this afternoon I guess when the sun was still up uh, just kind of what's going on out here uh, in the parking lot and in the school uh, talking to state troopers um, it uh, everyone's kind of everyone's not saying a whole lot out here actually it's uh, a lot of people are just coming up and shaking their heads they are asking people uh, 17 uh, is open both ways uh, they are asking people that if you're out and about tonight to please be careful. Power lines are down. Uh, they are uh, Dominion Virginia Power is working very hard to try to get things back up and uh, back 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 to work here. Uh, but as you can see here, I'm just kind of panning around showing you guys what we got here. Uh, part of the roof was ripped off. School buses flipped over. I'm going to adjust my light actually so you guys can see uh, where classrooms uh, once were. Uh, you can uh, you can see through the uh, through the broken down fence over here. Uh, Trooper just just told me just a minute ago uh, these were actually this was actually a wing of the school. Uh, colleague Jason Marks uh, just is uh, just just wrapping up talking to the superintendent. Uh, and he's going to bring us some more information here in a few minutes. Uh, but uh, we're just uh, just giving you pictures right now, trying to gather information. Uh, right now, uh, it's going to be uh, it's 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 a dark scene out here at, at right now as I, as I'm talking to you. But I think when the sun comes up tomorrow morning, I think people are really going to be able to the school system and the county officials are really going to be able to come out here and, uh, and 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 check out the damage and actually see see what really happened out here. Uh, it's it's overwhelming. They're asking people to just stay home tonight. Uh, the uh, storm's over. It's actually. It's actually turned out to be a pretty pretty decent evening. The stars are out, uh, so stay home. Uh, if you want to come out, check out tomorrow. Uh, there'll be plenty there'll be plenty of time for that. But uh, just asking people to be safe and uh, waiting for the sun to come up tomorrow morning to, to check out the rest of the destruction. All right, that's photojournalist Joel Hilton for us.